It is estimated that by 2040, some 250,000 seniors will reside in the county. The council's public safety committee heard from various county agencies that are working to protect senior citizens. Susan Kennedy has a story. The briefing was broken down into four areas, fraud and identity theft, physical crimes against seniors, heat-related emergencies, and Montgomery County Fire and Rescue Services Senior Safety Initiative. Committee members say there needs to be a multi-agency approach to dealing with these issues. Over the years, obviously, things become more obvious and, and uh, more evident, and that we need to do make certain that we're doing everything that we possibly can. Fire and rescue, uh, you know, the the idea that when uh, they go to to visit someone in their in their home, uh, that they will go with someone from Meals on Wheels, which I did not realize that they did that until yesterday, and that's a great idea. I wasn't aware that they go out to the homes of seniors and do a full free assessment of someone's home. They look at their their burners. They look at their stove, they look at the gas lines, um, they replace your smoke detector with a contemporary smoke detector with a 10-year battery, and they do a full house and, or apartment assessment. So um, I'm actually invited them to a, a civic association I'm speaking to tonight. I'm going to continue to do that because when I'm out speaking to different neighborhood associations, most of the people in the audience are either seniors or the caregivers for other seniors. Officials told committee members that although seniors are victims of fraud and identity theft, they are no more vulnerable to it than other groups. Committee members say they want the county to do a better job of getting the word out about some of the services available to seniors, many of which come at no cost. So the county um, provides for free um, inspections of buildings, including apartment buildings, um, based on safety concerns. So it could be lighting, it could be um, vegetative growth in the wrong places, it could be any number of things that would make a building less safe. And they offer this for free, and if a resident requests that they, the county come out and look at this, um, the county can't do it unless the property owner um, agrees to it, the owner of the apartment building. And we want to change that because there have been apartment building owners that have not been willing to allow this. For more information on senior safety, visit MontgomeryCountyMD.gov slash senior slash safety. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.